Welcome to the channel. Today we are going to take a closer look at the situation on the Ukrainian front, day 810. In the Bakhmut sector, Russians continue to storm Ukrainian positions, bypassing the town of Chasivyar along the road and towards the town of Kalinivka. In the video, a Russian T-80 BVM tank full of ammunition is seen abandoned, so Ukrainians took advantage of this and hit the tank in the rear, causing it to detonate. In the Lyman sector, the number of combat engagements increased to seven. Here, the Russians are doing their best to push Ukrainian soldiers back to the ponds, so they are using a large amount of equipment, including infantry fighting vehicles and the latest tanks as seen in the video. As a result of repulsing this attack, Ukrainians destroyed five enemy infantry fighting vehicles and five tanks, including a T-90 Mayor tank. In the Avdivka sector, Russian troops are trying to advance along the entire front line. In the video, a Ukrainian drone spotted a tank preparing for an assault. But the Ukrainians discovered it and destroyed it with the help of a single kamikaze drone. Meanwhile, Russian troops have activated a new section of the front line in the Kharkiv sector. Over the past few days, several enemy sabotage and reconnaissance groups have infiltrated the territory of Ukraine, and later, heavy equipment began to arrive. One of the reasons why Russian commanders have started to advance in this area is an attempt to stretch Ukrainian troops along the front line to weaken it. But the Ukrainians were ready for this, and long before the Russian offensive began, they began to build fortifications consisting of three stages. The first stage is minefields that prevent the advance of infantry and equipment, followed by the positions of the Ukrainian military, which destroy the advancing troops from the so-called foxholes. Behind them are anti-tank ditches and dragon's teeth, which are erected in case the enemy manages to break through the minefields. After the barriers, there are fortified trenches with field medical centers and drone operators. And to support these lines, the artillery is located farthest away whose task is to suppress Russian reinforcements and help the infantry repel the assault. But the problem with such fortifications is that they require a large amount of construction equipment, and because enemy drones are constantly flying near the Ukrainian border, these lines are built a little further from the border, so the enemy has made some progress that can be seen on the map. Today, around 11 o'clock in the morning Kiev time, videos of a successful strike by Ukrainian forces on a large ammunition depot of the occupiers in the town of Sorokina in Luhansk region began to circulate on the internet. A column of smoke could be seen several kilometers away from the site of the attack. Мама, мне страшно. Пиздайка с названия, парни. Ukrainians also managed to destroy a Russian Su-25 aircraft in Donetsk region and a Ka-52 alligator helicopter worth about $16 million. The general staff of the armed forces of Ukraine announced on social media.